So the bootstrap paradox is a paradox that arises from time travel when you have a specific idea or, or object that goes back in time that later becomes the cause for it going back in time itself. So it's sort of like an object or an idea that has no specific origin in time because it's stuck in a loop. Um, my main goal when creating, creating new work is to make something that other people haven't necessarily seen, like something basically new to look at and I make stuff that I, that what I would want to see. So I like the idea of people come in and say, you know, that's something, you know, totally, not, you know, not necessarily completely original, but, you know, it's not what we see every day and it's like a lot of interesting ideas being put together in, uh, you know, hopefully cool ways. I think the sort of the aesthetic of my collages that are all, it's all physical materials, you know, I'm not doing it digitally. I think the idea is sort of relates to the source material and I like I like looking through old books finding vintage you know imagery finding stuff out of art history books science textbooks all that kind of stuff so I want I kind of I want the final product to be to have that same aesthetic and to have that same sort of aged found you know found look to it almost where these images that I'm creating look like they could be found in an old book at a yard sale or whatever like just that same sort of the same energy, same ideas behind it. Um, so a lot of the religious iconography comes from me using art history as as a huge, you know, inspiration for source material and like all the Renaissance sculptors and you know paintings. It's it's almost all religious iconography, and I really like the way that the religious figures play off against the scientific sort of the scientific imagery and the way that those work together. You know, uh, a lot of people see them as very conflicting points of view, and I like I sort of like playing with that. Uh, paradoxes in general are something that I was sort of playing around with. Whether uh, you'll see the Penrose triangle I use on several occasions, uh, and it's, it's sort of a visual paradox. It also mirrors a loop that you would get uh, in time travel, and just like. Various paradoxes of that sort, different, trying to sort of mirror them visually. Uh, and just sort of in general, thinking about paradoxes and think, thinking about time travel uh, as kind of a parallel to collage, like working with things that are disparate in time, working that, you know, just sort of combining things that wouldn't be combined and sort of creating things that seem seem unnatural and seem like they don't make sense.